everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Slaying with Dice. Ed and Games' show dedicated to all things RPG. I'm Dave, your host, and on today's show we're going to be looking at gift ideas for the D&D players in your life. Now, sometimes buying gifts for, D for your, your D&D players, your Dungeons & Dragons players, can be kind of difficult because you don't know like, exactly what rule books they have or what adventures they may have, etc. So today we're going to focus on some gift ideas that are kind of general D&D uh, gifts. They're items that could be used by just about any Dungeons & Dragons fan or player, and both experienced and brand new players. So let's get started. First off, we have Dungeons & Dragons Clue. So they've taken the classic game of Clue, and they've added, they've set it in the city of Baldur's Gate, which is in the Forgotten Realms, and they've created a mystery that has to be solved using the mechanics of the classic game of Clue. It's something that anybody who's a D&D or fantasy adventure fan can enjoy, and a pretty safe gift, uh, gift like I said, we're focusing on things that are not necessarily those core D&D uh, books. Other options, uh, the... Endless Quest series. There's actually about a half dozen of these out now. These are uh, a remake, an update, if you will, of a, the classic Endless Quest books that were released back in the uh, 80s uh, by TSR. So there's a little bit of history behind this idea. It, it's a choose-your-own-adventure, uh, pick-a-path, whatever you want to call it, but it's D&D themed, and usually it'll tell you right on the cover like what the character class is of the main character, etc. It's fun, it's light, it's available in hardcover and softcover, and it's something that I probably can appeal to kids, uh, teenagers, or even your older players. And there's a number to choose from. So that's another idea for you. Another great one, and this is actually, it's the Young Adventurer's Guide series. So there's three of these out, there's a fourth one coming. These are really well done. Uh, they've got great illustrations and simple explanations for younger D&D players, but it's very nice for the older players, especially the older players who are still new to the game, to the genre. There's a lot of great uh, explanations and quick guides to, in this case, for instance, this is Warriors and Weapons. Uh, there's one that has Dungeons and Tombs. There's another one that's Monsters and Creatures. And they give game like tip ideas in the back. Uh, for instance, in the Dungeons and Tomb ones, they give advice on how to design your own dungeon. So it's great, like I said, great for new, younger, but also just even any inexperienced players. I think could really enjoy this. They're nice little volumes. Uh, great gift idea, especially for somebody who just maybe got the uh, beginner's box set, the starter box set, or the essentials box. Okay. Moving along, we've also got the, this is the Beastery, uh, the D&D Beastery. No, these are actually a set of little mini notebooks. Uh, they have uh, some of them, there's like two of them that are blank, two of them that are, have lined paper, two of them have graph paper grid. They're themed, the art on them is themed. For instance, this one is themed with the red dragon. Uh, it says red dragon on the spine. The, uh, this little set, come a little slip cover, Handy, very portable little notebook set uh, for whatever use. Typically, you might be using it for game notes, uh, either as a you know, dungeon master. I could use them. A uh, player could use them. Whatever. Very versatile gift there. Another option. Metallic dice. Met or not just metallic, but metal dice. Always a cool gift idea. In this case, we actually happen to have the official Dungeons & Dragons metal dice. Each of the highest number on each die features the ampersand logo, but there's lots of metal dice to choose from. So that's always an option. Another great option might be a dice case, a, a wooden dice case or dice vault. You can see they're magnetic, heavy duty magnets on them. You could place your individual dice in here. Oftentimes this is a great accompaniment to a set of uh, metal dice. So this is a good combo. Uh, you can see that's there's that. There's also just, this is what they call the, that's a dice case. This is what they call the dice vault. Same thing, magnetic closure. So some different styles available and different woods. Uh, we have maple, we have cherry. Um, 
Also, when we talk about dice storage, every D&D player can always use dice and dice storage. We have dice bags. So these happen to be custom dice bags that are made by uh, Blue Cherry Fairy. I'm showing off just a couple of styles here. You can get embroidered, you got fabric. Uh, here we have a bag of holding design. Here we have the classic uh, map design from the old school modules. Uh, here we have Legend of Zelda. They've got Cthulhu. They've got uh, superhero Star Wars. There's Monty Python, the Quest for Holy Grail. There's all types of stuff available, all types of cool embroidery. Uh, Phoenix, dragons, unicorns. Uh, great gift ideas right there. And those can be used uh, not only as dice bags, but to hold tokens. I know some people use them as uh, makeup bags. So great options, great options. And finally, we have Three Dragon Ante. Three Dragon Ante is actually a... Uh, gam like a game of chance, if you will. It's a card game that it's inspired from within the game itself. So it's a game that you can use uh, to play as a standalone game in, in its own right. So it's a lot of fun there. But it can also be used, there's rules included to integrate it, to be able to integrate it into your game of Dungeons and Dragons. So this is a really nice option also because it can be used as a separate game, but also the game within the game. So there you go. Those are just a handful of some of the gift ideas out there that you can give uh, for those D&D &D players, like I said, that are maybe hard to shop for and you're looking for some options. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. You can find all of these great items down in stock at Edden Games and Hobbies. Have a happy holiday, and until next time, make sure you play some uh, games this week and roll some dice. Take care.